Hi there, and welcome to another video. We're talking about a new version of our distributed or network rendering add-on for Blender. Helps you make rendering fast by using lots of computers. And this update is thanks to a fellow called Phil from Texas. So thank you very much, Phil. He's one of our supporters and he's been super, super helpful in identifying the issue that we're gonna talk about and why we have version 0.44. So I'm going to now switch over to picture in picture mode to show you a desktop of my PC, which you can see here. And we're just gonna talk about why does 0.44 exist? What problem does it solve? All right, let's do that. So you can see here we're using Blender 3.1 today, the latest version. And you can see if I go over to the preferences that we've got CrowdRender 0.44 installed. So this is the build I am currently testing. So why 0.44? All right, so Phil, who was very generous in bringing this problem to our attention, but also helping us debug it as well. He mentioned that when he installed something called Flared, which is an add-on, he was getting some pretty serious slowdown. I'm gonna demonstrate that now because he's been kind enough to lend me the add-on. And he checked that with the supplier as well. So I'm actually gonna open a test scene. So this is the Flared add-on. I'm going to basically add a Flare object. So this just allows you to add add things like lens flares to things. So what was happening is when I added this lens flare, we would get a huge slowdown in the UI. It was practically unusable. And now you'll notice UI is actually quite smooth now. This was the primary issue was dragging um, the timeline or dragging, I guess, the playhead through the animation would cause basically Blender to stop. It would take sometimes several seconds before the UI would update. Now the underlying cause for this slowdown may affect other people with different add-ons. As far as I can remember, we never actually experienced this slowdown until now when Phil brought this to our attention and we got a copy of Flared and that's when it manifested. We'd never actually seen it on our own test systems before. A lot of you people have been complaining about poor performance in the UI and it's possible that this could be the reason. So there is a fix now in 044, a bit earlier than we were planning because we thought we would fix it with the new Crest system. So good news. So what exactly was causing this? Well, you might notice that we've had to make a change and that's a bit of a clue as to what's happened. So if I go and find the crowd render add-on, so I go find the crowd render panel. Those of you who use the add-on quite frequently might notice a little bit of a difference around here. So it used to be that the local node would live up here out of the list of all of your other render nodes. And by the way, render node is just a fancy name for a computer that does rendering. So we're now actually looking at the local node. That's this computer here, the one that's showing up on this monitor. So local is kind of like a jargon term for the computer that you're sitting in front of using its keyboard and staring at its monitor with your own two eyeballs. It's local to you, like you being in your local neighborhood. We have this here because you might wanna render on every single computer that you've got. If you only have two computers, then you really do want to render on both because it's not gonna be faster if you just render on one. So that's why we have such a thing as the local node, so that even if you just have two computers, you can actually get a speed up. Now it turns out how we'd actually implemented the local node beforehand with it not being in this list, although it worked, it actually unintentionally brought about this slowdown. So what we've done is we've moved the local node from being a separate kind of special snowflake thing up here. It's now one of the other render nodes. That's pretty much just all you guys need to know from a superficial using the add-on point of view. The great thing is though, is that all of the really bad slowdown seems to be completely resolved, at least as far as from this example we can tell. So there you are, that's what 044 is gonna be. It's a pretty small update, but we're hoping it'll be a pretty huge impact for those of you that had really serious slowdown problems. And that's pretty much it. It's a short video, but it's a pretty impactful change. So hopefully you guys like that. And in the next video, we'll be talking about some other stuff. Uh, we have some big plans for 050, so that'll be the next development update. You really wanna stick around for that. So please subscribe if you're not already because you will find out about all the stuff that we're doing in the future to make things far more efficient because the next thing we're setting our sights on is efficiency. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.